Hi, I happily welcome you all to the today's English class. And in today's class, I am here with the story. Yes, we are going to discuss a story, and it's the eighth chapter in our English textbook. The eighth chapter, the title of the story is Christmas. Actually, this story is an extract from the novel Little Women. Little Women is written by the author Louisa May Olcott. Louisa May Olcott has written a great number of stories for children as well as for adults. After getting famous on writing children's stories, she stopped writing for adults and started writing more stories for children. And this story is a special one to her because it's a semi-autobiographical story. Yes, it's the life story of the author Louisa May Alcott. We are going to see what happened in her life in this story. Louisa May Alcott, including her, they were four sisters. They were poor. They were leading a struggling life. But once, when they were little, they were rich. Her father lost all her money by giving a loan to a friend. That friend hadn't repaid him, so he lost all his money, and he joined army. It all happened during 1800s, and during 1861 to 1865, there was American Civil War. American Civil War between the U.S., United States, and 11 Southern states. The major cause of the war was to abolish the slavery and bonded labor. That was the major reason for the war. And it's the day before Christmas. Christmas is on the next day. They were discussing. What was that discussion? That's what we are going to see in this story. Before getting into it, let us know the characters of this story. The first character, the youngest one, Meg. Actually, the, her name is Margaret March. Shortly called as Meg. She is the youngest one, age sixteen, sixteen year old girl. And second, the author, Louisa May Alcott, has used her name as Jo Josephine March. Her name here is Josephine March, shortly called as Jo. She liked everyone to call her as Jo because she was tomboyish. She liked to be boy. She had boy-like characters, and she was fifty. The third one, Beth, Elizabeth March, shortly called as Beth, thirteen-year-old girl, and the last one, the youngest one, Amy March, shortly called as Amy. the youngest one and mrs march mrs march is the mother of these four her children used to call her mommy in an affectionate way so let me describe you these four girls men a pretty girl with large eyes and a plenty of soft brown hair a sweet mouth and white hands and the next one josephine march Very tall and thin girl. She had a desired mouth. She had a comical nose and sharp eyes, which always appeared to see everything. Her long thick hair was her beauty, but she doesn't want to be like a girl. So, so she bundled up together into a net. The third one, Elizabeth March. A rosy, smooth-haired, bright-eyed girl. She was a peaceful girl. She was shy, and rarely she would get angry. Though they were poor, she lived in a happy world of her own. And the youngest one, Amy Moss, the important person, not to others, but to herself. In her own opinion, she was the important person. She had blue eyes and yellow hair curling on her shoulders. That's all. Let's get into the story. What happened on the day before the Christmas? Christmas won't be Christmas if there were no presents," said Joe. 
and from other side Meg she replied it's so bad to be poor and Yeni from other side she said I don't think it's fair for some girls how everything and some girls how nothing but Beth from another side she added but we got mother father and we each other and all other sisters they were happy to hear those words later they get sad after joe said we haven't got father and shall not have him a longer we know it father was in army so he cannot be there after hearing those words everyone was silent and meg she replied from the other side you know the reason this christmas is going to be the hard winter season so we are not going to have any presents but we have to sacrifice what we have a little to others with a happy face meg was not ready to sacrifice she said i am afraid i don't because they were already poor and they had no presents and they had very little amount of money after listening to meg joe said we each got a dollar one dollar and the army wouldn't be much help by our giving that giving four dollars to army it's not going to be a big deal said joe and they can't do anything with those four dollars and i agree i do not expect anything from you and mother i don't expect money from anyone but she has 1 dollar with that 1 dollar what she is going to do i agree not to expect anything from mother and you but i do want to buy undyne and syndrome for myself undyne and syndrome is a novel she was a bookworm she wanted to read many books so she wanted to buy the book undyne and syndrome she made her choice and near the chimney came a voice it was beth i plan to spend my 1 dollar in new music she said in low tone that no one had heard her but the chimney near to her because she had said in really a low tone and to the other corner gamey she replied i'm going to buy a nice set of drawing pencils she was fond of drawing yeni was fond of drawing so did she decided to buy drawing pencils for 1 dollar and everyone had decided joe is going to buy undyne and syndrome book beth decided to spend her money in new music and yeni she decided to buy drawing pencils meg she didn't say anything jo after hearing to amy's words she said mother didn't say anything about money and i believe she won't ask us all the money let us buy some for ourselves and have fun we had worked really hard to earn this 1 dollar yes they really worked a lot to gain this 1 dollar how they have worked on hearing the words of jo Meg started speaking. I know I do. Teaching all the children in home for entire day when I am longing myself to enjoy being out there. The sixteen-year-old girl she spent most of the time inside her home teaching the children and earning the money. She was not able to enjoy outside. That's what she was complaining to everyone. You know it very well. When one complaint arises. others will start their complaints just like the same way as meg started her first complaint the next one josephine march she explained her problem you are not working so hard as much as i do i am doing the worst job in the world what's that josephine march was an elderly caretaker yes near to their home there was a old lady she was alone in her home and she was scared by josephine march you know it very well old lady she wanted always to be silent 
and being silent for long hours in that room and always she complains whatever i did she would not get satisfied by my work and it didn't stop there bed from other side comparing other works i think washing dishes comparing other works why well, i think washing dishes and keeping tidy and doing chores and cleaning the entire house is the worst work in the world and i do it every day and she also added this makes my hands so hard i was not able to play music and the youngest from the other side amy she shared her complaint what was her complaint she was just going to school but she said i don't believe any of you suffer as i do i am suffering the most i am going to school every day with rude girls they laugh at me every time i make mistake they laugh at my dresses and insult when the nose is not nice four of them shared their problems yes that's what happened when four girls were together everyone gathered together and meg said don't you wish we had the money papa lost when we were little yes. when they were little they were rich they had some money to enjoy after father lost all the money they became very poor the conversation it was moving from track to track first they spoke about christmas presents next they shared their problems and then they were now thinking when they were little they were rich and now meg was saying to beth beth you said the other day we were a lot happier than king's children for they were always fighting even though they had more riches they were always fighting for the throne and always nervous that they would be killed by others and to that beth replied yes i said so and well i think we are for though we have to work we make fun of ourselves though we are working harder we make fun of ourselves we have some fun time and a pretty joy said as joe would say joe would call them as jolly said yes these kind of slang words would always be told by joe on hearing that yemi she started joe uses such slang words joe from the other side she put her hands in the pocket and started whistling everyone in the home they looked at her amy she started don't do that joe don't whistle it's so boyish boys would whistle but joe from the other side said it calmly yes that's why i do it she liked to be boyish and yemi from the other side i don't like this kind of character i don't like unlady like girls said yemi and to that Joe replied I don't like doing too many girls I don't like proper and neat and clean girls and Beth from the other side bats in the littleness agree she agreed that words on seeing that conflict Meg she entered and started her lecture what she lectured them and what happened next what did they do with that 1 did they buy what they have said earlier let us see that in the next class thank you for watching this video